Think you know what lurks in the depths of the ocean? While nearly 95% of our oceans haven't been explored yet, it's hard not to let your imagination run wild. But thanks to brave explorers, deep sea cameras, and awesome archaeologists, we do know about some pretty incredible sea creatures living in our waters today and millions of years ago. From the 9-foot spider crab to the 60-foot prehistoric megalodon, these sea dwellers come in all shapes and sizes. But let's focus on sea creatures famous for their huge size. Can you guess which living species of whale is the largest? Well, it's not the orca, but that's a good guess. The orca is a toothed whale that can grow to anywhere from 23 feet to 32 feet, which is slightly smaller than a school bus. How about the narwhal? Nope, they're not the biggest either. These unicorns of the sea live mainly in Arctic waters and only grow 13 feet to 20 feet in length. And that's including their 9-foot tusk. Tired of guessing? Okay, I give in. The largest whale that still exists today is the blue whale. At a jaw-dropping 82 feet to 105 feet, the blue whale is not only the biggest whale we know of, but is currently the largest animal to have ever lived on Earth. Seriously. These animals are bigger than a T-Rex and even the prehistoric Megalodon. If you were to put a blue whale next to a school bus, it would look like it could swallow it. Think about that. According to National Geographic, a blue whale's tongue can weigh the same as an elephant. And their hearts can weigh as much as a car. That doesn't even sound possible. It's no wonder these giants need to eat about four tons of krill every day. While there aren't too many animals living today that can compete with the blue whale's epic proportions, there is an entirely different species that is a good contender. And it's not quite what you would expect. It's a jellyfish. No, I'm not talking about the little jellyfish that wash up on the shore and ruin a perfectly good day at the beach. I'm referring to the lion's mane jellyfish, the biggest jellyfish around. This invertebrate can grow up to 120 feet long. They also come in different gorgeous colors like red, purple, or even shades of orange. As if their length wasn't impressive, the lion's mane jellyfish boasts a whopping 8 sets of 70 to 150 tentacles. That means they can have up to 1,200 in total. And here's the giant oceanic manta ray, the largest type of ray in the world. Their wingspan can be longer than a bus. These guys can reach 30 feet in length. They also have the biggest brain compared to body size among all fish. Unlike their stingray cousins, mantas don't have venomous tails. And while the lion's mane jellyfish and the blue whale are yet to be beaten for the longest sea creature, there is one marine creature that can grow even larger in length. The Portuguese Physalia physalis, tentacles and all, can reach a length of 165 feet long. And that's according to mentalfloss.com. While this thing may look a lot like a jellyfish, it's actually known as a siphonophore, and there are hundreds and sometimes thousands of them that are genetically identical. Their long tentacles help the organism catch prey, and its sting is fatal to most animals, even humans in some cases. What's even creepier is that if one of the tentacles comes off the organism for whatever reason, it can float around the water for days before decomposing. Even if it's detached, this tentacle can still sting you. But don't go running out of the ocean just yet. Your chances of being hurt by a Portuguese Phasalia Phasalis sting are pretty slim. However, if you do get stung, the side effects aren't pretty, with welts, stomach cramps, an elevated heart rate, and an upset stomach. While you don't want to go anywhere near these long creatures, they sure are pretty to look at. Check out all those colors! The Shastasaurus is the biggest marine reptile that has ever existed. These predators lived during the late Triassic period, about 210 million years ago. These amazing giants could reach lengths of up to 69 feet and weighed more than 75 tons. This made the Shastasaurus as heavy as a blue whale. And if you could stand this creature up vertically, it'd be as tall as a seven-story building. Despite appearances, the Shastasaurus was actually pretty slim for its size. 
Its ribcage was only six feet across. You'd think that this big guy was chowing down on other dinosaurs, but that's not the case at all. This reptile survived on a diet that consisted of small fish and cephalopods, like octopuses and squids. The Alberto nectes is a bright representative of the pleosaur family, meaning that this marine reptile had a small head on an incredibly long neck and large flipper-like limbs that helped it move through the water. These creatures occupied the seas around North America 76 to 70 million years ago. The length of this sea monster could reach 38 feet, with its neck taking up 23 feet of that length. Its neck was a true record breaker. It had a whopping 76 bones in it. No other animal known to humankind has had so many vertebrae in its neck. Scientists aren't sure why they needed such a lengthy neck. They might have used it to collect shellfish off the seabed. Or perhaps it helped them capture their main prey, fish and squids. This aquatic reptile also had gastroliths in its stomachs. Some of them were as big as 5.5 inches in diameter. The Tylosaurus belonged to the Mosasaur family. It dominated the shallow seas of North America about 85 to 80 million years ago. This was an enormous predator, with the biggest representatives reaching 45 feet in length. It had a narrow hydrodynamic body with a blunt, powerful head that the animal used to ram and stun its prey. Its body was equipped with agile flippers and a long tail decorated with a maneuverable fin. The Tylosaurus was a carnivore, and its diet included not only fish, turtles, and small sharks, but also other mosasaurs, pleosaurs, and flightless birds. Meet Ophthalmosaurus. This prehistoric reptile thrived during the late Jurassic period and lived in oceans all over the world. Ophthalmosaurus weighed somewhere around 6,000 pounds and grew to approximately 16 feet long, according to NewDinosaurs.com. That's about the same length as the beluga whale that exists today. It's too bad these guys went extinct before we had a chance to see them ourselves, as their cartoonish wide eyes and dolphin-like features are pretty darn cute. Of course, the ophthalmosaurus evolved over time to become ophthalmologists, or eye doctors that we know today. No, that's just a lie. Just testing you. The Mosasaurus is a truly gigantic predator that dominated the seas all over the world about 66 million years ago. According to fossil evidence, some specimens could be more than 50 feet in length. This fact makes the Mosasaurus the biggest marine carnivore of its time. One of the most terrifying things about this creature was its crocodile-like head, decorated with literally hundreds of razor-sharp teeth neatly organized in two rows on both jaws. The thing is that it was pretty challenging for the Mosasaurus to grab its prey in the water. That's why it had all these teeth, plus something special. Pterygoid teeth anchored to the bones on the roof of its mouth. This made hunting and holding onto its prey much easier. The Styxosaurus belonged to the Pleosaur family and lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 85 to 70 million years ago. Upon first glance at this dinosaur, you might mistake it for a sea snake, and it'd be an honest mistake. Styxosauruses were about 35 feet in length, but over 16 feet of that consisted just of their long snake-like neck. They had a comparatively small body and weighed approximately four tons. Their mouths were full of razor-sharp cone-shaped teeth that they used to catch fish. They didn't need to chew their prey, thanks to the 200 small stones called gastroliths in their bellies that probably aided in digestion. At the same time, some scientists believe that the Styxosaurus used these stones to sink to the ocean bottom in search of particular types of fish. Huh, looks kind of like Nessie to me. The Stonefish Stonefish aren't going to win any beauty contests, unless the pageant is for best rock look-alike. Their tiny unreflective eyes and rough skin blend in perfectly with their environment. A large head, an even bigger mouth, and a home full of, yeah, it's rocks. And just because you're on the beach doesn't mean you're safe. Stonefish can survive for 24 hours out of the water. Stepping on one or even handling one won't be that fun. Their dorsal fin spines have extremely strong venom. 
it shoots out when they get stepped on, and it can lead to paralysis or even heart failure. You'll need help fast. No wonder they're one of the most dangerous creatures in the water, or anywhere. Be careful when scrambling around rocky areas. They love to play hide-and-seek. The Deep Sea Dragonfish If there were a prize for the most hideous fish in the ocean, the deep sea dragonfish would win. With slimy, scaleless skin, massive teeth, and a face only a mother could love, this bad boy of the sea is nothing to mess with. It likes to swim between 700 feet and 6,000 feet below the surface of the ocean, where the waters are the darkest and coldest. Along with some other creatures on this list, the deep sea dragonfish relies on its bioluminescent body parts to catch prey. It also uses its hanging appendage, which boasts a little red light on the end, coming out from its lower jaw. Many fish mistake this little light for prey luring them right into the jaws of the deep-sea dragonfish. Very clever dragonfish. Very clever indeed. The Fang Tooth The Mariana Trench is an underwater trench with a depth of 35,000 feet, nearly 7 miles below the ocean surface. Let that sink in. While scientists know the Mariana Trench exists, it's one of the least explored places on Earth. It's also the deepest area of Earth's oceans. And although many creatures down there probably haven't even been seen by humans yet, scientists have had the creepy pleasure of getting to know the fangtooth. The fangtooth fish shamelessly lives up to its name. Just look at that thing! The fangtooth is carnivorous and feeds on just about anything it can find that gets caught in its sharp-toothed mouth. These fish rely on their contact chemoreception to find prey. In other words, they can sense chemical residue that comes off of other living organisms in the deep sea. This is because they don't have any light-producing cells on their bodies, unlike many other deep sea fish. On top of all that, it's pretty dark down there, so whatever crosses their path, they chomp on. While these guys look pretty scary, they're not a threat to humans. They only grow about 7 inches long. Even so, I wouldn't want to run into one of these things during a relaxing swim in the ocean. The Dunkleosteus Strangely enough, this prehistoric fish, known as the T-Rex of the seas, had no teeth. Those were replaced with bony plates that allowed it to have the strongest bite among other monsters of its size. The Goblin Shark If you thought the movies about sharks were scary, this next deep-sea creature will make you swear off going for dips in the ocean forever. However, it lives 3,000 feet underwater, so you'll never likely see it face to face. The goblin shark looks like a cross between a shark and a creature from your worst nightmare. These sharks boast a protruding sword-like snout with a jaw that juts out to match. Unlike other sharks that have more of a gray hue, This creepy thing looks not so pretty in pink. Aside from their scary demeanor, what do scientists really know about the goblin shark? Well, not much, except that they can grow up to 18 feet in length. Looks like there's still a lot to learn about these guys, if you dare to. By the way, did you know that sharks don't sleep? Many species have to keep water moving over their gills to get oxygen so they can't fall into a deep sleep like we do. That's why they stay half awake during rest. Typically, sharks don't even close their eyes. The Cookie Cutter Shark This shark is a living horror, with lower teeth being big and sharp, while the upper ones are much smaller. When its teeth fall off, the shark eats them to maintain calcium levels. Pretty smart solution for a shark. The Frilled Shark Studying the frilled shark is like looking through a portal back to prehistoric times. That's because scientists think that these eel-like sharks haven't changed much since their oldest ancestors roamed the deep sea waters, so they're sometimes referred to as living fossils. These sharks' mouths are filled with a terrifying 25 rows of backward-facing sharp teeth, 300 in total. They're designed to grasp prey, 
and hold them tight so they can't get away, according to early studies of the shark conducted in 1884 and published in the Bulletin of the Essex Institute. Luckily for swimmers, the frilled sharks live between 390 feet and 4,200 feet below the ocean's surface, so they'll probably never run into them. Probably. This is probably the worst nightmare of any dentist. The Northern Stargazer Take a look at this cutie. The Northern Stargazer is definitely not something you'd wish to see on the ocean floor. This horrid creature hides its body under the sand leaving its face above to wait for prey. The Tasseled Wobegong Here's another carpet shark on our list. It lies low on the bottom of the sea and patiently waits for its prey to come by. The Australian Ghost Shark The Australian Ghost Shark isn't really even a shark, but a very bony fish. It's also a living fossil. It hasn't changed within the last 400 million years. Believe it or not, sharks and humans have a common ancestor that lived around 440 million years ago. Even though we both evolved in our own way, there are still some signs of that connection. For example, the genome of an elephant shark is very similar to humans. The Leo Pluridon. This list of terrifying creatures would be incomplete without mentioning the terrifying and prehistoric Leopluridon. This carnivorous marine reptile existed during the Colovian stage of the Middle Jurassic era and ruled the waters at 9 feet in length. Scientists believe Leopluridon thrived in this deep sea trench because of its ability to swim long distances and its four paddle like limbs. While they probably weren't able to propel themselves toward prey like other animals of the area, they did manage to accelerate and attack very ruthlessly and efficiently. Additionally, they relied on their long snouts to smell prey, which leads scientists to believe they didn't rely on sight for hunting. This means they could have thrived in the dark Mariana Trench. Around 150 million years ago, Leopluridon became extinct due to competition for prey against other thriving marine reptiles. And I think I speak for all of us when I say thank goodness for that. Considering that scientists have only explored 5% of the ocean floor and found some of the scariest sea creatures imaginable, one can only dream of what other animals reside in the deep sea waters. Perhaps it's best to keep them in your imagination, am I right? The Megamouth Shark this shark is a filter feeder, and it's friendly to humans, although its huge mouth can look quite threatening. Like basking sharks, it swims with its mouth constantly wide open, as if it were on Twitter. The Gulper Eel This deep-sea eel has an easily distended belly that allows it to swallow prey twice its size in a single monstrous bite. They have very unusual jaw shapes and can reach about two to three feet in length. Do you see that large log near the ocean floor? Maybe it's part of an old ship. Treasure, gold, diamonds, I'm rich. Well, as you get closer, you notice something. It's swimming. It's not a shark or a dolphin. It's a saltwater crocodile. Now don't panic. If you bump into one of these reptiles in the sea, it's unlikely it'll think of you as food. Crocodiles have a special valve in their throat that stops them from drowning underwater. But that doesn't mean they can't bite. Usually, they're heading to a nearby island, and the quickest way there is to body surf. They can't really take the ferry, you know. Watching one from a distance should be okay. Just don't swim to shore right away. They love to ambush their lunch in shallow water. If there's one time I'd want to see a great white shark, it's when I'm diving with crocodiles. They'll gladly take a crocodile-sized nibble, given the right motivation. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.